Give props to the Black Critic guy for actually coming up with this idea, such as why I won't watch. I want to give off a reasons for why I don't want to watch certain movies. Why don't I want to watch? I'm actually going to do a list of some others because I mean, why not? This is my shit. You know, it's nice to be not to be just a complete rip off. Be someone of a rip off. Besides, I have, there's no original ideas anymore. There's nothing really original anymore. Besides, it's not. I might just start a new channel in the future once I get once I know how to really edit my videos. And of course, develop my own style of presenting. But anyways, I want to give out some reasons why I don't want to watch these movies. I may watch some of these movies, maybe I may be forced to, but I not for myself, like on my own contempt. Not, not, not contempt, not on my own... Shit, I know the word. Not on my own, not on my own, like not my decision. Like not my personal decision. I know there's a word for that. Comment below if you know what it is, because I forgot it. I swear I've heard it before, but I just don't know. Contempt is wrong. It's not the right word. Um, I, well, I don't want to watch Poltergeist, guys. You already know this. I really like the original. The pol the reviews for Poltergeist are very bad. They're not terrible, but they are very mixed. They're not very good. Same for like audiences and critics. It's just proof that it's an unnecessary remake, and I just don't want to see it because it didn't look very scary to me. It looked like a jump scare fest. It looked like it, was, it just didn't look good. Also, Chris Stuckman didn't like it. He's a horror fan. Rock, IGN didn't like it. They both said it had bad CGI. Oh, same for Jeremy John. They didn't like the CGI either. They also thought it was unnecessary. They didn't think it was terrible, but it was just mediocre. And I don't want to see a horror remake. They usually suck. Also, why I don't want to watch uh, Pixels. As you guys know, I am getting sick of Happy Madison. I'm sick of that seeing Adam Sandler movies. This guy can act. And actually, another film I forgot to mention you guys about that he proves that he can act, Rain Over Me. That, that's on Netflix, I think, till June 1st. See that. It's a movie that really is very unique. It is a drama that's more honest. Also, it's a good performance from Adam Sandler. He's very dramatic, and I feel for him. I really think he's really playing it. I feel like I really feel for the character he's playing. John Cheadle is also pretty good. And they have good and John Cheadle and Adam Sandler have good chemistry. Um, Pixels. I mean, we've all seen weird concepts being used perfect, used to their to their perfectly. You know, they're not exploited. They're used perfectly, like Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, the idea of a talking tree and a talking raccoon was stupid to us. But when we saw the movie, it was awesome. Seriously, it was my favorite movie of the year. It was awesome. I mean, I mean, it was one of my favorite movies of the year. I loved it. I mean, Chris Pratt was awesome. Also, the tr I mean, I mean, Vin Diesel voice and group. He was awesome. Bradley Cooper as Rocket Raccoon. He was fucking awesome. Action, fantastic. Humor, non-stop. It was very lighthearted, and I really liked it. I mean, it wasn't so dark. It also, it was a cool take on some superhero movie cliches. That was awesome. I can't wait for the sequel coming out in 2017. Wish it would come faster. But anyways, I really enjoyed it. Also, a lot of movies with some weird premises that have worked before. Films are just really different. I mean, Star Wars was such a new thing at the time in 1977, and it was a phenomenon. People loved it. Critics, can, critics ate it up. Audiences ate it up. It was a mass success. Also, it was nominated for Oscars. Best Picture, Director, Original Screenplay, Visual, and Supporting Actor for Alec Guinness as Ben Kenobi. Oh, Ben Kenobi. Seriously, that was a huge thing at the time. I feel like it's ridiculous. I mean, come on. Now, for Pixels, unfortunately, it just looked more stupid than inventive. Now, I did see the short film that this movie's based on, and it's pretty cool. Now, of course, there's, it's a short film. There's no real guys fighting each other. But there are aliens taking the form of video game characters, retro, and taking their forms. And, like, you know, destroying, taking over New York City. It's pretty cool, actually. Pretty cool effects for such a low budget, for, like, no real budget. Credibility, credit goes to that guy. And that was cool. However, this looks like a shameless cash grab on it, like, on... I mean, it wasn't really all that popular. I mean, it is on. It is on. Like, on, if you go on Machinima on YouTube, you can see it. It's really cool. I'm afraid it might just be cash on it. The visuals look cool. The problem is with Adam Sandler being in it. Same for Kevin James. 
It looks like another goddamn com. It looks like one of their goddamn comedies. It looks like it has Adam Sandler writers like Tim Harrell, he and Timothy Dalling. Just no. 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 I'm sick of that shit. I am sick of that shit. I, I, I keep just in this camera because it feels like it's not centered. Moving over a little bit. Yeah. Moving over a little bit. Sorry guys, I'm really distracting that. But then it was as bad as when I had to cut my video three times. Cut my first video. Cut the previous video I did on Boss House Predictions three times. Let me get past the fact that it just uh, the pixels doesn't look very good. It doesn't look very inventive. It looks just really stupid. It just also means sick of Adam Sandler. I'm sick of him now. Now, from what I heard, he is a nice guy. From, you know, I mean, he's, he's actually kind of a nice guy. And I heard interviews, he's actually funny. I have not seen him in interviews because I don't care to watch those. I don't care to watch interviews for really anything. I'm not like that. I just watch movies, guys. And, yeah, this is not very good. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, it could be funny. That one scene in the trailer on the creator of Pac-Man getting his hand bitten off and him reacting to it. Being goofy. It is kind of funny, but I'm afraid it might just be another dumb Adam Sandler comedy. I'm sick of that. I'm, I just want that to stop. Also, I don't want to watch, uh... I don't know what else I really want to watch. I mean, uh... I actually don't have anything else. These are movies that I was really dreading seeing. These are okay. Maybe I don't really have any other any others that I'm not really looking forward to. There's the ones that I'm more skeptical of, and that doesn't count as to why I won't watch them. These ones I'm skeptical about, but may see. Well, maybe depending on the reviews. So those don't really count. Overall, those are these are only two films I have for my for a while that I don't want to watch, and I let my reasons out. Comment below if you agree with me. Do you have other reasons? Say if you are you looking forward to, something, to these movies. Are you not? Have you seen them? Have you seen Pulsar Guys? What do you think of it? Just comment below, like uh, if you're looking forward to these movies or not. If you've not seen them, if you've not seen Pulsar Guys yet, are you looking forward to any of these movies? If you're not, give me your reasons. Why, give me your reasons as to why or why not. And subscribe to my channel for more videos.